Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. Today is episode number 72 because we decided to be take part in the blackout yesterday, so nothing was aired, so I did not do a tea time on Tuesday. And so we're back with some more quotes and some more tea today. And um, the quotes that I'm going to be doing are going to be still relevant to what's going on in the world. And um, of course, June is still iced tea month. So all month, I'm going to be drinking iced tea, even if you've seen me drink these teas before. Today, this is my last packet, though, of my Tazo Iced Passion Herbal Tea. You can see it's very pretty color, pretty red. Mmm. Super refreshing. It's a tea with um, hibiscus, flowers, citric, uh, and citrus, like orange peels, cinnamon, licorice root, rose hips, lemongrass. So it's all natural, really good tea. And um, today's, the birthday is one of my favorite ladies, my favorite dancers of all time, Josephine Baker. She was a huge, phenomenal celebrity um, around the early um the early part of the 20th century, uh, right into the 20s and 30s, and she was known as a dancer. She did a lot of the jazz dancing and a lot of a, a lot of dance. She was amazing. She used she would use humor in her dance, and she was just amazing. She was, she was loved around the world. Later, she also became known as a singer. So she was singing and dancing and doing everything, and she was just adorable, beautiful. I don't know if she also was a model, but she was gorgeous. And, and she was a black performer, and it was really hard for her to get um, a huge reputation and to become as famous as she did, but she really broke through and paved the way for a lot of other black women to get into the dance world. And here's one of the quotes that she has. She said, this is the first quote that was actually listed underneath her listing um, on Brainy Quote. She said, I have walked into the palaces of kings and queens and into the houses of presidents and much more, but I could not walk into a hotel in America and get a cup of coffee, and that made me mad. That makes sense. There's a lot of anger in that. She also said, I ran away from St. Louis, then I ran away from the United States because of that terror of discrimination. So it doesn't matter how famous a person was, if the color of their skin was not white, then they couldn't. They couldn't go anywhere. Um, Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe were very aware of this, and they were they worked um, very vigilantly to try to help their um, black counterparts in acting and modeling and singing to help them get the same rights to be able to stay at the same hotels as them. And um, yeah, we have a long history of this. So we this is why all this stuff is happening. If you didn't know. You should know. You should know, though. Um, it's also Anderson Cooper's birthday. He is a reporter. He was born in 1967. He is a white man. But he said, I think you have to be yourself and you have to be real and you have to admit what you don't know and talk about what you do know and talk about what you don't know as long as you say that you don't know it. That's kind of a tongue twister. And one of the one of the things that he did leave out is that you also need to listen. So, I mean, I know that he's a reporter, so his job is talking. But if you don't know about something, let somebody who does do the talking and listen. So listening is, is more important, I think, than talking, actually. And that comes from somebody who's an avid talker. I love talking, obviously. Um, and there's also Scylla Elsworthy's birthday. She was a, uh, she's a peace, uh, peaceful um, she, uh, leader. She was a, she was an activist. I'm not sure if she's still alive. I think she might be. She was born in 1943. And this is a question she said, I have this question. How do I deal with a bully without becoming a thug in return has been with me ever since I was a child. And it's definitely something to consider whether, whether it's even talking to family, friends, and relatives and trying to explain what's going on or trying to explain your point of view. You have to, and if you feel that that person is being a bully, um, sometimes it's hard to break through to people that are really set in their ways, but you can't return that with being uh, a bully right back to them or a thug or, or being um, difficult. <laughs> so that doesn't, that just creates more division. It doesn't create conversation. So that was a good one. Um, to, so for today's uh, national days, it is national egg day, which is what I'm having for breakfast. It's National Repeat Day, which means you should repeat something in the day, which is kind of a weird thing, but um, like you could repeat the same meal later in the day, or you could like, uh, I don't know, do something you've done before. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, it's, a, it's a difficult um, 
figure out, but maybe you could have two showers in one day. Or I could have eggs for breakfast and for dinner. <laughs> but I probably will because I'm probably going to make a quiche and then I'll have the rest of it for dinner. Um, so it is National Repeat Day. It's also National Chocolate Macaroons Day. So those are easy to make. It's um, I think I gave the recipe on my last show was because it's National Macaroon Day. But you can just get some coke, shaved coconut. You can get some egg white. You can get some honey. Make little balls of coconut and then throw some cocoa in there. And then there you go, chocolate macaroons. Or you could drizzle um, melted dark chocolate or milk chocolate, whatever you like, on top of it. And then you have the hard chocolate casing on top of the coconut macaroon. So lots of yummy things to do. I like cooking, so... I like creating stuff. I'm not going to be making chocolate macaroons though today. Um, it is also National Running Day. This is something you will never see me doing in my life because I do not run, but I do see people running by my home every single day. And if you love running, the day is your day to celebrate your love of running. I will only run if it was to save my life. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Sorry, sometimes these have been a more serious, but what's going on in this country is serious. And I'm not the kind of person that's going to ignore um, the bigger picture, um, but I do want to entertain. I do want to make you guys have a, a better day and hopefully you can still smile at some of the things that have been said today. And I will see you tomorrow for the 73rd episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. You guys have a wonderful, safe, and, ama and amazing Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Have a great day.